Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas, and today's surfboard review is on the V3 Stealth by Lost Surfboards. I'm super excited to talk about this review and I'll tell you why. This is a stock board, but if I were to order this board custom, it would be the exact same dims. It's 5'7 by 19 by 2.3 thick, and the liters of volume is 26.5. I'm five foot nine and 170 pounds. As you can see, we have it in the EPS carbon wrap, which I'm a huge fan of. And from the very first wave I caught, it felt really good under my feet. So sit back and enjoy the show. So now as I go into the rocker of this board, I wanna mention that the V3 Stealth is based off of the V3 Rocket. Now, I've never tried the V3 Rocket, but it looks like it had its wide point a little front from center, had a little more area or a wider nose up front, maybe just a, a wider outline altogether. And this one, the V3 Stealth is a little bit more pulled in the nose, so it has the high performance shortboard look to it, and it has more um, nose rocker, and it also has more tail rocker. So what am I gonna get out of that? I'm gonna get more performance. But what I like that they did was they kept the, the center rocker they have it relaxed and that's what we need to get the drive we're looking for in smaller waves or even just getting down the line in some mushy sections. So I thought they nailed that with the rocker. I felt like I felt like it still paddled well and it pivoted off the bottom really good for multiple reasons and we'll get into that later. So as we move into the tail end of this board, I remove the fin so we can focus on these two wings. This is what Lost calls fluted wings. They're a bit more pronounced, and each point will grip the surface of the wave, giving me traction, but they will also act as pivot points because we're reducing rail line. Now, we are also reducing surface area, and by reducing surface area, if this is the width of the tail, after the wing, it gets a little bit narrower after both. So the narrower the tail, the more high performance or tighter turns I can do in the pocket, and that's exactly how it felt under my feet. Now as we go into the tail, you see some, some other reducing in rail line here because Lost calls this the diamond rocket tail. And it's a combination of a squash tail and a rounded pin. And because we've reduced the rail line here, a surfboard can only turn as tight as its rail line, and because it's shorter, it gives me the ability to turn quickly and more pivotal. So now I want to talk about the bottom contours of this board. It's running a pretty aggressive single concave all the way through, and in between the fins you're running into four channels, and Lost is calling these radiator four channels. They are unique in the sense that each channel is towed in. The two on the outside are towed in like the side fins, and then the two in the middle are gonna be towed in a little bit less, more like quad trailers. Now, what's this gonna do for me? It's gonna give me extra added drive, and it's gonna carry the speed through my turns, and even in small, mushy waves, as opposed to the, the, tech, the typical parallel channels that go really fast down the line when the waves are big but when you get into a slow mushy wave they have a tendency to be sticky so these felt great the board had lots of speed and i felt like it had the traction i needed to So as we dive into the construction, this is what Lost calls the carbon wrap. Now they start with an ultralight EPS foam blank, which is stringerless, and then they start putting carbon bands in a bunch of different places to manipulate and control flex. So starting on the bottom, as you can see, these two bands run on the nose here and they begin to turn out, and that's how they're controlling and manipulating torsion flex. And so like toes side, when I'm pushing on bottom turns, the board's twisting. And what we want is we want to have control and we also want to utilize that to our advantage and maximize speed. As those bands widen from underneath and they come around top, the bottom's controlling flex the top right here 
is where the board is loading and unloading. So when I come out of my bottom turn or out of a, a, a top turn, the board's loading and springing me with drive out of that turn into the next. So this board feels really good under my feet for speed, especially on the small waves. It's got that extra added drive I'm looking for. And they also have this carbon band here, which is what Matt would say is the spine of the board since it's stringerless, it needs that strength. And they're controlling and manip manipulating the flex right here with this also. Now, they also have something they call X-Glass, and they call it X-Glass from, from what I understand is because it's a whole sheet that's laid like this at 45 degree angles, and that's gonna give the board more strength as opposed to something that's laid in more 90 degree angles like this. So it helps with buckling and that kind of stuff. So all in all, the carbon wrap, I'm a huge fan of it, and it felt super lively under my feet, and it had lots of speed. So now I want to talk about the fins I chose. These are the new signature fins by Philippe Toledo. I got them in the large because I want to maximize my drive and I'll get that with this wide base. And they have a good amount of sweep to them, so that's going to enhance my surfing. I like to do long um, carves or do tight roundhouses, but I didn't feel like they were so much sweep that I couldn't get in the pocket. I felt like they pivoted good too. They kind of like the best of both. It's got a little bit less rake or sweep than Mick Fanning Fan, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. And it also has that beveled edge on the inside here, which makes the transition, my turns transition fast at high speeds. So the new Philippe Toledo fin felt really good. I like it. And I'll probably do some more reviews with this fin. Well guys, V3 Stealth Lost Surfboards, this thing's legit. One of my favorites for 2017 for sure. Look, if you have one of these boards or you're thinking about getting one, let's blog about it. And if you like the show, subscribe. If you want to know what's coming up next, you can check us out on Instagram or head over to surfandshow.com. Special thanks and shout out to the folks over at Lost Surfboards and FCS for sending the new Philippe Toledo fin. That's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye. so badly You broke my heart You broke my heart so badly These bruises have scarred These bruises have scarred inside